Hello friends. In this video I want to show you how to download the data from the tests carried out with the Fluke Network's Cable and Network Tester Link IQ to the PC. My name is Johanna and I am a Computer Network Technician. I hope this video is of interest to you, in that case don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. If you work with computers, POE devices and industrial networks, surely the Link IQ network and cable tester from Fluke Networks will be of great help for the maintenance of IT facilities. On the other hand, as nowadays it is increasingly important to document the work carried out, it is important that you download the test data to the computer so that, for example, you can print them on paper. To do this, the first step is to download the link where PC software. It is important to have the latest software version to ensure compatibility with the tester. Let's go to the Fluke Networks website. And in the support menu we select the downloads and updates option. On this page, on the left, we will see a little search window, where we can enter, for example, the word Linkware and search for it. In this way, the link to download the software will appear. We click on the first option. And as you can see, in order to download the software it is necessary to be registered. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one very easily and quickly. As you can see, you do not have to leave the website where you are. Simply scroll down and add your personal data. It is important to enter your email correctly, since you will have to confirm the registration through it, and it will also serve as your username. Once you have entered your information and hit the Create Account button, you will have to check your email to be able to set your password to access Fluke Networks. Enter your new password twice to confirm it. Once registered, you can return to the Fluke Network's download area with your account already active, so you can proceed to download the Linkware PC software. Now that you have downloaded it, you must proceed with its installation. Accept the terms of use and your installation will be completed. Then you can run the program. Once the software has started, Turn on the instrument link IQ and connect it to the PC with the USB cable supplied with the unit. On the display of the instrument you should see the indication that it is already connected to the PC, you will hear a small beep on your computer as a result of Windows having recognized the device. Now you can proceed to download the tests previously saved in the instrument's memory. If you look at the top bar of icons, you will see one with a red arrow with a lightning bolt symbol and if you hover the mouse pointer over this icon, you will see that it indicates Import Connected Tester. Click on it and then a window will open where you can choose to download all the tests or only those that interest you. In my case, I will click on the button on the left to download all the tests saved in the instrument. In this way, the software will show the typical download evolution bar and on the display of the instrument you will also see that the download process has started. Mm -hmm. 
Once the download is finished, in the area to the left of the program you will see the downloaded tests. Select the one that interests you and click on the details button to see the test results. For example the transmission speeds offered by the router. Or the information about problems with the cable map of the tested cable. And finally, I am going to proceed to save the downloaded test database. For that, I click on the floppy disk icon that appears in the top bar and a small window opens where I can indicate the name of the database that will contain all the results. I click on save and I will have all the data on my PC for future review. And so, we have reached the end of this presentation that I hope you have found interesting. If that is the case, don't forget to drop a like, so that I know that you liked it. In future videos I will show you more details about this instrument, so if you don't want to miss them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. See you in my next video. Bye.